Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to do my first look today with the Center and Saint palette from Kat Von D. I sort of have a look in mind. I'm feeling like I wanna do some like purple and gold stuff. So we'll see. I feel like maybe I'm going to use like this shade down here, the really yellow one, and maybe these two, and maybe this guy, maybe that one. I don't know, maybe that. I haven't, I really don't know. So let's just go on and get into it, okay? So first I'll be taking the almond shade and just going underneath my brow bone all the way down into the crease. And then I'm going to take some of the martyr shade, which is that sort of mustardy color, and I'm going to just wash that throughout my entire crease. I really feel like this might be my favorite color in the palette. I don't know, I, I'm attached to it already. So now that we have that going on, I'm going to take the shade Devil, which is the orange guy, and I'm going to put it on either side of my eyelid. So I'm just leaving a space in the middle. Just making sure to bring it all the way up into that martyr shade. And then on a pointy blending brush, I'm just going to blend the, those two shades together. taking a little bit more of Devil, just running it through the crease. And now I'm just going to, on the other side of that paddle brush, I'm just going to take a little bit of Relic, which is the super gold shade, and I'm going to pop him in the middle of the lid. Again, making sure to bring it up high enough. I feel like a lot of people when they're doing these halo eyes really are scared to go up high, but unless you go up high, it's not really going to look like the shape of your eye. You really have to get up into that socket and not just stop at the crease, like the fold of the flesh. You have to use the bone more as a, a guide than your crease, if that makes sense. And then just really lightly blending it over. Okay, and then I just want to take a little bit more of that devil shade and put it through like the higher points of either side of the eyelid. And really, I guess, sort of all through the crease. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of NYX's Deep Purple Eyeliner, the twist up kind, and I'm just going to line my bottom waterline with that. I'm also uh, gonna like be working it into the lashes to make sure it's really in there. With these purple ones, this purple one in particular, it doesn't really come out very purple. So you have to like smush it in, if you put it in your waterline that is. So you really have to get it in there and work it into the lashes. And then I'm just gonna blend that down a little bit with a pencil brush. Now, I don't know if I wanna take, I really wanna use this shade. I feel like this would make a bigger impact because it's more blue based with the orange so it would be like really contrasty. Maybe I'll use them both. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of Worship and press that over the top. I'm just lowering that down on the inner corner a little bit. And I'm just going to take a blending brush and blend that out. And I think on the inner corner I'm going to do um, because there's not a lot of like light shimmery shades for pale people in this. There's there's like this guy, but he's still a little bit too, I mean he's, you could probably use that, but I need a warmer highlight. So I'm gonna use Absolution and these are not like eyeshadows, guys. They're not normal. Um, I saw someone, I can't remember who it was, talking about about it and thinking that they weren't as um, pigmented as they thought they were gonna be. These are not supposed to be pigmented. <laughs> They're like sheer toppers. You have to think of them like those um, pressed pigments from MAC. They're not going to give you a full coverage, uh, opaque look. It's just not going to happen. It's that's because that's not what they're supposed to do. It's supposed to be very sheer 
like when you swatch it like that you can kind of see that they're like oh that's pigmented but you know like what it's meant for is to top things so it's meant to be a sheer sort of like glitter coat um, nothing that's going to be pigmented so don't I would not try to build these up or use them on their own unless you're using them you know as a sheer wash of glitter-y-ness on your eye or your cheek or your brow bone um, or over another shadow just don't don't sit there and try to like build these up because it's not these two are very different than the rest of this it's a different uh, animal altogether. Just wanted to clear that up. Moving along, I'm going to take Absolution and tap it on the inner corner there, and I'm just going to use my pinky. Now um, I'm just going to do uh, a winged liner. So I'm basically going to try to keep a pretty thin line on on top, and then use this right here, the edge of the devil. Um, as a basically as a guide. And I'm going to use the Kat Von D Trooper Liner that I got when I bought this palette. Now I'm just going to put on some mascara. This is my Stila Huge Lash. I really like this stuff. Now I'm just going to do this eye and put on some lashes. Okay. So there's that one done. I just put on some Ardell Demi Wispies with like the last four little bunches, last two big bunches cut off just because that's like the most comfortable eyelash for me to wear. They're not big, they're just small. They just fill out like the outer corners of my lashes. And because I have astigmatism, lashes are very uncomfortable, uncomfortable for me. So I tend to wear like half lashes or three quarter lashes um because it's just way easier on my eyes i think for the cheeks i'm gonna keep it like really simple i might do a little bit of the nyx nuditude 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 i can never get this right it is really like a golden kind of blush so just more of sculptural than anything i'm just gonna bring it onto the cheeks just because i don't want it to be anything that's overpowering of the color or competing with the color that's on my eyes. For my lips, I'm going to use the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Plath. I just want something that is autumnal and defined, but also sort of neutral-ish. I don't really want it to compete again with like the color on my eyes. Last thing is I'm going to use Absolution as the highlight. I'm take a little bit this guy up here. Okay guys, so that is it. That is my first look with the Saint and Sinner palette. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, this is like the lower lash line, pop of color on the lower lash line is the easiest way I feel like to incorporate a bunch of different colors in the look. Um, and you know, orange and purple, they always look really good together. Plus today is October 1st, so happy autumn everyone, uh, I think. I have some jack-o'-lantern eyes and this is very appropriate for today. Please do let me know what you thought of it and if you got the Saint and Sinner palette and what uh, color combinations you've been enjoying because I have a bunch more of these looks to film. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are well and I will see you all in my next video.